Hey there, it's Amy Green with Amy and Art Designs, and today we're going to make a really cute napkin project, or a napkin decoupage project. I'll show you this napkin, and we are going to use it to make a really cute Easter bunny, Easter mason jar, shelf sitter thing, technical term there. So, hop on and let me know that you're watching, let me know where you're watching from. I'm going to pull it up over here so I can see your comments. How are you guys doing today? So it was really beautiful this week. And here we go. Okay. Yeah. So let me know where you're watching from. It was so beautiful. Oh, hey, Leslie. I'm glad you're here. This is going to be a fun project. Um, let, me show you what, let me show you all what I've got. And let me add... Let me do this. So yeah, I let me add this. There we go. Okay. You can see my kids. This came home in a Valentine's Day. A Valentine's Day bag. Let me see if I can move this over a little bit. I'm trying to hide my... But it might just be there for today. We'll see how it goes. So, um, it was really beautiful two days ago. I sat on the front porch and worked and sat in the sunshine. Let me adjust this. Okay, it's going to be what it is for today, guys. I really wanted it lower, but you know what? We're going to let go of being perfect. Okay, so, okay, here's what we've got. We've got, this is going to be a little shelf sitter. And it goes together kind of like this, so it looks like it's sitting on a plate. And it sits up like, like this, okay? Can you see that? I guess I could show you like this. So it sits like this and it looks like it's sitting on a plate. It's really cute, but I've got some fun ways we're gonna kind of dress this up. I'm gonna show them to you. Um, okay, we're good. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, I've got Mod Podge, cause we're gonna use the napkin. I've got some of my favorite y'all know this is my favorite hello hobby before we get started though make sure that you sprinkle this and when you do someone's i'm gonna this is gonna get gifted to someone so make sure you sprinkle sprinklers will get a chance to take keep this one oh and then i forgot to tell you this has got a little option for a gift card to go on the back this this would hold a gift card and it goes on the back here, and you can set the gift card in if you want to give it as a gift to somebody. I mean, is that a cute idea or what? So, like a little teacher gift, um, bus driver gift, just like a, a, a granddaughter, a grandson, daughter. Super cute. So, we've got some paint. I've got the green, this clover green, I think, which is going to look good here. I'm not even sure we're going to use the green. And I've got these fun sprinkles. I've got my spackle because we're going to use our spackle today, guys. Really cute. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let me grab my cardboard. We're going to paint first. Um, let's talk about how this goes together. Because we've got these pieces that go together. And this goes together, but I always like to think about how they go together and what I really need to paint, right? Because all we're going to see here is the bunny's head, right? We're going to see the jar, and we're going to see the whip and this little bunny bait tag, okay? It says bunny bait. Isn't that cute? And so that's all we're going to see. So we don't need to paint all of this. And we just need to paint the top of this and, and the faux whip. So another thing I always like to have you do is to line your wood cutups out before you paint them. So you're sure you're painting the right side. Because like if I flip this one over, it doesn't fit right. You guys have seen me do that. I've got my craft iron over here ready to go. So... Let's go ahead and get started. We've got, I'm going to start by painting this. This is all going to get painted white because I'm going to decoupage my napkin on, okay? 
and this is going to get, I'm going to paint this pink. I saw um, Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments. She actually, she used to use these all the time and I forgot that she used to do it um, for her paint. Um, now she has these like really cool ice cube things that she uses, but I don't have the ice cube things. So I thought, you know what, this would be great because then I don't have to worry about scrubbing it out. Usually when it sits here, it dries. So let's go ahead and get, I'm going to move this because all I'm going to do right now is paint the white. The, this and this are going to get covered up. So I just want a nice base coat. So guys, we're making an Easter Bunny shelf sitter. Make sure to sprinkle this because you're going to get a chance to, sprinklers get a chance to take this for me to mail it to you, gift it to you. My words are just not coming today. So the kids are home. They have a four-day weekend. They're upstairs with Joe. Okay, I'm going to paint the bunny. You know what else I forgot to get is my decor wax. I'm going to grab that in a minute. And then they're going to go to their grandma's because I've got to go get my thyroid checked again. <laughs> ah, yeah, I can tell. Thank you, Leslie. Yeah, the sprinklers, you can tell. Because it'll show after the, after the live, it will show everyone who sprinkled. And that is awesome. Just if anyone you think would enjoy it. Um, so, and I'm not going to be super concerned about how this looks because again, it's, it's not going to show. I'm going to cover it up, but I do want that nice white base so that my napkin doesn't look brown. So we want it to be white. We don't want the wood to show through, but we're not worried about it looking perfect. Okay. So what have you guys been working on? Leslie, I probably know what you've been working on. <laughs> I saw, uh, you know, KCK, I saw you were at her hydrangeas that she painted. Were those amazing or what? Like those, oh my gosh, those blue hydrangeas. So next week, um, I'm in an art camp on KCK HQ. It's her, um, KCK HQ. What's the name of the group? KCK HQ art camp, something like that. Um, and, and Casey is an amazing painter. So we're, um, that's what we're painting in there, but she was painting some hydrangeas is what, and they were this gorgeous blue, on a nighttime backdrop. And I mean, she is like a legitimate artist. Yes, she is a legitimate artist. So, okay, I'm going to set this up here to dry for a second. I'm not going to worry about painting this because this is going to go on the back. It's going to be the gift card holder. The, the plate. I don't really think I want the plate to be pink. I've been thinking about this. I think I just want the plate to be white. Um, mostly because... You know, after I put it together, I might change my mind. But so this slit right here, if you guys aren't familiar with how these work, this is measured and cut to fit so that when you put this together, this is going to sit right in there, okay? So, and if it, it goes through a little bit, but this has got a, a riser on the bottom, so it'll sit flat, okay? So that's how that works. But I'm going to go ahead and paint the plate because this is supposed to kind of look like a like a, it's sitting on a plate like you'd see at a parlor. And I usually don't paint the edges, but on this one, I'm going to paint the edges because you're going to look at this forward. Um, and it's going to look, it's going to look like, um, so then you don't have black edges on your plate because typically when you're looking at something straight on, you don't have black edges on your plate, on your plates. So, and 
And my hands are going to get a little messy, but I've got baby wipes somewhere. So I know it's not even the end of February and we're already painting Easter, but you know, I kind of get ahead of things, right? It is February. So my um, next, yes, KCK free adult art camp. Hey, Leslie, will you drop the link? Do you mind doing that for me? That would be awesome. So that if anyone's watching and they want to go to art camp, they can join us. It is really a fun group. It's free. Um, if you want to do any of the projects, you would just order that from the, the person who's sharing. But if you just want to go, um, yes, yes, it should be there. Any, I mean, I'm excited for that. Um, for that, that blooms tray, it's, it's that tray right there. Yeah, that's the one I'm teaching. It's a really cute tray. We're going to do some, some mod podging on that. Not necessarily decoupage, but I'm um, not napkin decoupage, but with some um, paper printable. And I printed all of those on the really good paper. So you guys will have the good paper for those printables, Leslie. I'm excited for that. So, yeah. And then we are... Um, so my, my 11 year old or my 10 year old turns 11 next week. It's crazy. It is so crazy. To think I've been a parent for, he's my oldest to think that I've been a parent for 11 years. I mean, you think about, start thinking about over a decade Start thinking how many decades of your life have been dedicated to something. And it's just like, wow. And he, I'm so proud of him. He has my kiddo with outside the box stuff. If you're just joining us, guys, we are making a um, Easter shelf sitter or a, I mean, it could go next to it to your tray, go on a shelf. It also has like a little gift card holder in the back. So if you wanted to add that on, you could give it as a gift. It's super, super cute. So, and we're going to do some decoupage on it. We're going to make it kind of farmhouse funky, I think. You go a lot of different directions with this. You wouldn't have to do the decoupage, but I kind of love it. Okay, okay, it's in my head that way. We'll see how it turns out. I haven't made it yet. Your youngest will be 30 in May. I know. So that is like um, three decades. I mean, the... You know, it is just, I mean, it is, you start thinking about it and you're like, wow, you know, wow. Like that is amazing, right? That you've done something that long and that's your, your youngest. Yeah. So I was, um, I was, what was I, 30, I think it was 30 at, 30, 36 when Nay was born. I was a little older. So I just told you I'm 47. Big 47. I just turned 47. I know it doesn't seem real. You think about it and you think, oh my gosh. I wonder if I can put something on here like edit name. Aha. Hold on. Look at this. Does it show? I don't know if it shows my name there. It doesn't. I tried to say. Yeah, you know what? I was trying to add sprinkle, but it's not showing up on the thing. Anyway, but yeah, it, um, no, you don't. I don't feel 47. Whatever 47 feels like, I do not feel that age. I need some more paint. So, yeah, I don't feel that age at all. Look at my hands. I'm a mess. So, yeah. That is not... Age, I think, is a whole state of mind. I think... Okay, there's a lot of things, I think, that keep you young. One of them, I think, is honestly 
having something that you love to do, right? Um, something you're passionate about, something that you keeps you busy, that keeps your mind going, um, challenges your mind. Okay, so I play every day. I play Wordle. And I play Letterboxd and I play, what is that other game that I play? They're all kind of nerdy. Spelling Bee. Just to keep like, not that I'm not thinking and working all day long, but just to keep that going. Let me grab my, you know, to keep that part of my mind. If maybe I'm not writing and thinking about words, maybe I'm cutting and whatever, but just keep that part of my mind going. Um... I love Wordle. I love, love, love Wordle. So, okay, let's see where we are with this. We are gonna, this, it does look like a little bit of a disaster right now, but we're gonna um, sand the bunny's head. So I always like to paint it and then I sand it down a little bit. So Wordle is, um, it's the New York Times owns it now. This guy started it actually for I the story behind Wordle is really interesting. Okay. My table's shaking. Um there's a guy. He this guy invented it. His wife had Alzheimer's. I'm looking for my tack cloth. Um, here it is. I guess she was diagnosed with like early onset Alzheimer's or something like that. And um Try to fix my camera. I'm not happy with the setup today. But I don't know if I can. I'll make you guys motion sick while I'm doing it. Um, so anyway, um, and at this I what I've read or was told, I can't remember which, but he invented it to um help keep that part of her brain active because we know, you know, that if we are using our mind, um it helps ward off all that stuff. In fact, my, my sister-in-law lived in the villages or my sister-in-law, my mother-in-law lived in the villages and, um, which is a retirement community in Florida, kind of just outside of Orlando. And one of the things that they did there was they had free classes for all their residents. You could audit them, um, to keep their minds active and so, because they were retired, but if they, they knew if they were learning, they would keep that part of their mind going. And my mother-in-law played Mahjong. In fact, she was the head of like, they called her the mayor. But um, she taught them all Mahjong. Yeah, use it or lose it. That's right. So she taught them Mahjong and she played Mahjong. And um, she's always playing word games. And she was sharp as a tack. Until, and so was my grandma. My grandmother, I'll tell you what, she was sharp as a tack. And she never quit. She worked until she was 97, believe that or not. I mean, she had retired from her official job, but um, she cooked for these ladies that were, um, that lived in a group home. She went, she, and when it was nice out, she walked there. So she wasn't, she was a mover and a shaker. And she was sharp as a tack too. Okay, so I just like to sand it to make it nice and smooth, make it look good. I'll probably go over the edges of that again. Those the, the laser cut edges, guys, like these edges are harder to. Um, generally, I'm trying to keep paint off of them, but um, if you get paint on them, you can um, just sand it off or wipe it with a baby wipe. Um, but I want this to look white on the edge when it's sitting because it's gonna be sitting on a plate yeah that is amazing leslie i'll tell you what um so yeah there's like research behind this whole thing you know i know there's all a bunch of other research i'm not super familiar with it there's a lady who was in a group i was in last time who had a a business called avert avert alzheimer's something like that and she actually like because um, I think I think it can run in families. And so she actually coaches people on like how to do that on, on like healthy eating, keeping your mind going. So, yeah. Okay. 
so I'm just cleaning this up a little bit. This is going to be so cute. All right. So if you're just joining, say hi. So I know you're here. Make sure you tell us hi. Leslie's, Leslie's keeping me busy right now. I appreciate that. She's one of my, one of my favorites. <laughs> Oh, we've gotten to know each other pretty well. So I'm going to stand this just so that the napkin goes on nice and smooth. Um, I was going to put another coat on the bunny, but he's, I, um, I really like the like wornness here. Oh, hey, Cassie. Good morning. Um, if you want a chance to be I'm giving this, I'm gifting this away. So you can sprinkle this if you want a chance for the, in the gift away. Um, but I like how this looks. He's just kind of a little, a little worn. And I like that. So I think we're going to stay there. I don't think I'm going to put another coat of paint on him. Um, this is just 320 grit paper, y'all. I know we, well, we chat quite often. Can you believe how many people joined our Facebook group? I mean, we doubled overnight. Okay. I got this in my mastermind. Sarah gave it to us. And I was like, I saw it and I was like, what am I? That's so big. What am I going to do with that? Okay, guys, these are the best thing ever. Hey, Leslie, we've had 63 more people join since last night. It is crazy. 63. So anyway, but this, I'm hydrated now, like all the time. And it's cold. Like this is the best thing ever. I had like a 20 ounce or 30 ounce. And I thought that was great. But that thing I love. I thought it was really just too big. So, hey, if you're hopping on, we're making a uh, spring shelf center. We're going to be doing some uh, mod podging. Make sure you say Hi. Let us know you're here. I would love to hear from you. But yeah, the group, it just kind of <clears throat> doubled overnight. Hey, good morning, Juanita. <clears throat> um, we are making a spring shelf sitter here. Let me see how this looks. Let me see if I can if I can post the um, art camp. Let me go here. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, case KCKHQ Friedel Art Camp. Let's see. Okay. Let's see, does that come through? There we go. I don't know. I'm not sure, Leslie. I'm not sure. So I'm actually streaming on on um, YouTube too. Yeah, maybe it is. Who knows? But thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. I know Casey K does too. Like, okay, she is. Did you see her um, X marks the spot? Um, her X marks the spot, uh, foundation. I mean, so she's only three hours from here. Oh, hey, Jennifer. So <laughs> I'm going to say it. Um, okay. So Jennifer, the only thing, um, the only thing that, um, is not great about this camo is you can't name your second camera. I'm just telling you, I'm going to, I'm going to get a good second camera. I'm going to get a camera mount thing, but you can't name it. But, um, okay, hold on. I, so I'm going to say it though, Jennifer Sprinkle, if you guys want a chance, I'm going to send this to somebody. I was trying to put Sprinkle on the second camera. We could also say, what could we say? Jennifer and I were talking about, we're not, the term Sprinkle sounds too much like Tinkle. So we were talking about like, What did we, what did we come up with? Something like, um, 
let your corner of the interwebs know about what we're doing here. Spread the joy. You can spread the joy. Yes, yeah, spread the joy. Spread the joy is, is good. Um, so, yeah, spread the joy, guys, and get a chance to t take home this cute bunny shelf sitter. And wait till you see what I'm going to do with it. I have something new to show you. And we are live. And so the group of you here are going to get see this for the first time. Seriously, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> I'm excited about it. <laughs> Inform your corner of the interwebs. Yes. Okay. I'm just making this edge nice and light. You know, normally, like, I'm obsessive about keeping the edge clean. But this is going to be a plate. So we want it to look white. All right. I think I'm going to stop there because I'm... Um, Inform your corner of the interwebs. Someone's calling me. It's my mother. I'm going to decline. She obviously does not follow my page. <laughs> um, yeah, my mom obviously doesn't. <laughs> she's not on my text list either. So there's that. She's she's like, I love my mom. She just, um, just not her thing. Now, my aunt... Um, my aunt sees everything I do. I have a couple of aunts who come and comment, but my mom, no. So guys, did you get the blush? I could get out my collection of Hello Hobby. I got the blush. Hold on. If you have the W Plus, it was $4 recently. I got these for four bucks each. I got the ivory. I got the big ones. I had Ruby. I used this on a, a Christmas sign. Deep green. Look at that. I mean, Christmas time, that would be pretty. Hey, Jonica. Oh, your mom does the same. So you guys, Jonica is in my mastermind. Um, she has a bakery. So go follow her page and when she posts lunches, you need to comment. When are you going to start like nationwide lunch delivery. I keep joking with her and telling her I need her to airdrop a lunch to me. Look at this cool green. She she makes the most beautiful food. So Tuscan Sun, look at this gorgeous yellow. This is the yellow I wanted for the Market Blooms tray. Moonstruck. I have more, but these are the ones I just got. Oh, and Deep Red. And then this is just the yellow sunflower that I had. The vintage mustard. I like that one. But yeah, I got them for four bucks each. I bought all of them. I know Joe's probably like Amy. But no, he's not. He doesn't. I mean, I don't know. But yeah, my mom has no idea what I'm doing. She's going to watch the kids later, though, because I've got to go to the doctor. And she's also going to make meatloaf and send home with us to bake. The kids love her meatloaf. So... Oh, okay. I think we're painted on that. We're going to paint the egg pink. Where did my sandpaper go? Yeah. And then we're going to start. Oh, when this, yeah, we're going to deck a plush too. I'm going to put the Mod Podge on next. I show you my napkin. So this napkin. Yeah. So you know what? I started out only buying the two ounce ones. And then I, because I wasn't sure about it. You know, but I just love the colors. I think that it's probably the same um, concept as the Waverly line. Um, I only have the one Waverly because I, I had to order that. I was looking for a very specific mustard color. And um, that was the only one that I could find. So I ordered that one from Amazon. So this is the blush. Look how pretty this is. The thing that I love about the Hello Hobby paints is that you can put mix and match them and really they all look really good together. Yeah, they're matte. Mm -hmm. They're a chalk blush acrylic matte. I don't really know what acrylic and chalk um, mean together, honestly, because... I have to look at the Waverly. I don't know if they say they're also acrylic and chalk. Um, I don't, I don't know that I'm not clear on, but so this has got, this is bunny bait. 
And um, I'm just dabbing this because I don't want to get the paint in those lines. You guys, y'all are pros, you know that. You know, there was a funny thing about um, oh, this really big blogger back when I food blogged. She was massive. I mean, her following was huge. But she wrote this whole, I mean, like you're talking like in the millions, but she wrote this whole thing about how, she, how um, she would go to like parties of people she knew like her friend circle and no one paid any attention to anything she did online. They didn't know what she did for a living. They didn't know she they had, they were totally unaware of any of it. And it's just so funny how like we can have that you and I can have this really great connection. Like we're together. We chat almost every day. We see what we each other put out there. We're sharing in groups and then the people who are in your like local circle have absolutely no idea about what you do every day. That's all I'm going to do there. And then I'm going to sand it. Oh, girl, go to Trader Joe's. You are going to love that. I, okay. What are you going to get there? You can see my computer too. You know what? I was not doing a great job on setup this morning. Y'all are going to give me some grace. I was having trouble getting the whole streamer thing going and it's just not imperfectly imperfect today. So we're just going to roll with it. Okay. Now that I've got that painted, I'm going to put some Mod Podge in there. So, okay. When we go to Trader Joe's, every time that I take Lucas, my um, nine-year-old, he wants to get a salad and he eats it in the car. <sighs> So this is my Mod Podge, y'all. I'm just going to put a coat on here because that's where we're going to put our napkin. And I want it to dry. This is the mat. So make sure y'all sprinkle so that I can give this to someone. Yeah. Um, the salads. And at Christmas, I went and got all kinds of like their meats and their cheeses and um, their hummuses. And, and when we did our... Our family, like my, the five of us, our Christmas Eve dinner, that was part of what I put out. And it was a good thing I did because I ruined. <laughs> I forgot. I We went to church and I forgot that to turn the oven off and I burnt. I mean, we came back because I've been, I cook. Um, Okay. I'm not sure why I started talking about Christmas. I think Trader Joe's. But for Christmas, um, I always do a Texas dinner. So we do, um, I do a brisket I do Boston baked beans and I cook them from scratch. And then there's a variety of other things. Um, sometimes I do potato salad. We just always do like a, a Texas style um, Christmas. And so, I mean, those baked beans had been in there so long. I did not do good at Christmas this year. I did a big thing of coleslaw. I wasn't feeling good. That was part of it. So, okay. Yeah, we love, I love Trader Joe's. They have really good stuff. When I was in California, um, before she, my friend Shinda dropped me at the hotel, we went in Trader Joe's and I got some food, some snacks, just to have some things at the hotel. You can always find great choices. I got a salad to put in my refrigerator. I think it's the, um, the, the chef's it's like the egg, the bacon, the chicken. Yep. That looks good. I'm just checking the edges. The edges are where you really want to make sure you get that Mod Podge. Y'all know that. Okay. So All right. I think that the bunny would look cute with a little bow right here. I was just thinking about that. I don't know. I might have to add that later because I have to go dig through my pile of ribbon and find one to match. But I think I was going to like paint. Maybe I'll paint a little pink there and then tie a bow. Okay. Set that aside. Now we're going to work on our faux whip. This is the fun part, guys. Okay, catch the replay, Juanita. Have fun. We'll chat with you later. Thanks for hopping in. I'm going to um, 
I've got spackle. This is lightweight spackling. From DAP. Okay. And it just looks like this. And I'm going to take a popsicle stick. And I'm just going to put some in this jar. And I'm going to add some white paint to it. I'm going to mix it up. I don't need a lot because this isn't big, but I also i have only done this in my head, so we're just going to I'm just going to take some paint out here with my popsicle stick. Okay. And I want this to get, I don't want it, that dap can dry gray. Um, and I know this from construction. So, because we do, I'm in a construction company. Um, and it dries, it can dry gray. Um, so you want, I've seen people do this too. I've just never done it. So we're going to see how it goes. I mean, I've seen people do it with, um, fake bakes. Do you know what I'm talking about? A fake bake, like those faux, faux milkshakes and faux. like little mugs and stuff. Okay. Oh, okay, Leslie, you're so cute. Um So, I just wanted to be nice and white. I don't know how long it's going to take to dry, so I may have to glue it on later too. So, we'll see how that goes. Well, let me think about this. No, I don't want to do it when it's on there because I'm afraid. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to put this on here. I want a 3D kind of effect with this, okay? Because what I want this to look like is whipped cream. And that's what the dap's going to do. Okay, so I want it to kind of look like whipped cream. And I don't, we'll see after I do this for the first time if I think that I can do it on the jar. But I'm kind of thinking... The best way to do it is not on the jar. So I need to get the zoom. I was closer last week with my camera. I should have taken a picture of how I set everything up. I will get it eventually. You usually want to let it dry overnight, Juanita. You've done it for faux whip? Okay, well, I should have known. So I'll let it dry overnight. I do have my heat gun. So, you want some texture. Yeah, I've got all this stuff to do faux whips for the trays. I, I even have stuff to make my own sprinkles. And I would like to get to that sometime this year to, like, start. Because I was in um, I was in pastry art school for until I got pregnant with my first because I didn't think I could have kids. And so I went back to school because I wanted to have a bakery. Um, and while I was in school, I got pregnant with Nate. Um, and so I didn't finish, but I love cake decorating. Um, and I thought it would be really fun to have those and teach you guys how to do those for tier trays, the piping and all of that. I've practiced on some. Okay, that looks really cute. So it's just kind of whippy looking. Okay. Just taking it up a notch, guys. Is this the, this is the fast. This dries in 30 minutes and you can paint it. So that's what I thought. I got the fast drying, 30 minute fast drying. All right. And guess what I have over here? I have um, faux sprinkles that match my napkin. So I'm going to drop some of those on here. 
um, of pink and white and green. I might have gotten too many right there. Hold on, I'm going to get my little thing. These are my weeding tweezers. In my brain, I thought this would be so fun. I don't want that one in there. Okay. Juanita, you could probably teach this. Sometimes I like see the finished product in my head. And even though I've never tried that, and I'm like, you know, I can do that. I'm going to make sure I get this back off my weeding tweezers. I'm just kind of pushing these down in here. It might take a little longer to dry because I added that extra paint in there. Um, Sometimes once in a while, I like get uh, like deep in thought over here. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Good morning. Girls, we're sprinkling for, a, what are we doing? We're spreading the joy for a chance to, to win this, to gift it. So spread the joy. If there's someone in your corner of the interwebs who would enjoy this, tell them about it. I'm going to mail this to somebody. What do you guys think? You think I have enough? I can be extra. Like, I can be, like, a lot. Sometimes I can overboard. I need a white one there. I've got to get the zoom functionality figured out. All right. Where's my little lid? Okay. So... Look how cute that is. See the white ones? So there's that. All right. This is dry to the touch. Let's get let's get to the Mod Podge. So I want to show you too. Look how cute that this, how close that looks together. The um it's just a great, it's a good match. It's not a perfect match, but it's really close. And that's that blush. The faux sprinkles. Um Happy Kauai. Happy Kauai. If you guys would be interested in something similar as a kit, I've thought about putting it together as a kit. Um, so I'm separating my napkin and including the sprinkles. Um, I actually, hold on, Monita, I'll show you since you're asking. But I just, I'm going to say, don't judge me. Okay. So we're going to learn a lot about my crazy right here. So I have these. So I picked them out of here because I want them to match my napkin. I've got these little flowers. We've got some lemon and limes. I mean, I've got like, we've got 4th of July and Memorial Day, kind of birthday-ish or spring birthday. There's more crazy going on. Um, <laughs> this is fall. Christmas, Christmas. Look at those fun colors. The oranges. I love the oranges. We've got fall for cocoa, apple. I've practiced a little. Um, Halloween and then like Halloween. So there's just a little glimpse into what goes through my head but yeah I had to pick those out of that colored mix to get them to match the napkin okay so we've got our napkin here I'm gonna cut this in half just so that it's easier to work with and I only need one square 
I just ripped it. And I'm down to my single ply, right? We want to be down to our single ply whenever we do this. And I'm trying to decide which part of this. I, I think I want the bigger flower kind of to the right. Part of it there. That's what I'm going to do. I've got paint all over my hands. Okay. So I've got my parchment. Yeah, so Jennifer, Jennifer's from Canvas Sign, she said, we are all crafters here. Nobody thinks you're crazy because we're all craft orders too. I know. <laughs> so I've practiced on the faux, the faux, like little mini cups and little, I just haven't been, I got really busy with the wood. And so I haven't done a lot of sharing on those, but yeah, I like this side better. Okay. So we're, like always, I start in the middle. I'm going to work my way out. Yeah. Yeah, I am. So Juanita says, love them. No judging here. Remember, I just went to Walmart last night to buy a bunch of paints, which you don't need. I know, right? Like, but there is, um, okay, so I was talking to my girlfriends about this. Like one of the reasons I love the tiered trays and these smaller projects is because as women, we're never finished, right? Our role a lot of times is we're never done. The laundry is never done. You know, we're, we're never done cooking. I mean, we finish a meal and as soon as we clean up the kitchen, the kitchen's a mess again, you know. Um, even my neighbor across the street, um, they recently moved here from Dallas and she is sweet as pie, but her adult daughter got in a car wreck recently, which was not her, she was not at fault, but, um, she busted her pelvis. And so now her daughter's staying at her house and she drives her back and forth to work every day. Um, she's taking care of her dog and she looked at me and she's like, look, parenting and you just never ends. She's like, you're parent forever and ever. Amen. Hey, Lukey. And so, um, so guys, look how cute this is. You want to come say hi? So this is Luke. Say hi, Luke. Hi. So Luke is nine. He is finished. He is his last basketball game of the season tomorrow. Um, Y'all, I'm going to take this sandpaper now and go around the edge just to take this off of here. So that's, um, and he is going to start football next, right? Yeah. Yeah. My mom really doesn't want me playing tackle because I can break all um, my bones. So he's nine. Like, I'm not really thinking we need tackle football right now. Do y'all? I mean, I just am like, mm. She's kind of like a. I mean, I'm I'm all for him if he wants to learn the strategy. He wants to play the game. He wants to learn the positions. He wants to learn how to do the runs. I really want to be um, a better wide receiver. He wants to be a he. We talk a lot about Justin Jefferson in our house. If you don't know who he is, he is argue, arguably, arguably one of the best all time wide receivers. Um, he plays for the Minnesota Vikings, so mm -hmm. we watch a lot of Vikings here. We also spend a lot of time doing the gritty. So, yeah, Jennifer Jennifer said her husband used to coach football for high school. Yeah, he did. What okay. team did he coach for? It was a Texas team. What? Like Patrick Mahomes' team? No. Probably, no, I mean high school, not Patrick Mahomes. Oh, high school? Probably I'll play high school football. Okay, I got my decor racks because I think we need a little decor rack. So look how cute this is, guys. Is that adorable or what? I'm really thinking I made all the right choices. I am going to put a bow around the bunny, but I'm going to do that. Bunny. And I'll, I'll do it when I go talk to your dad. Okay. Bye.
Bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Um, he was an offensive coordinator. Okay. Go talk to go talk to Padre. He's in charge. He what? He will. Go tell him that the big boss said he could. Okay. Yes. The, <laughs> a quarterback coach. Yeah. Okay. So look, I mean, this is gorgeous. I was a little worried. I went back and forth in my head and I made, I made Joe come look at it with me. I'm like, Joe, what do you think? Do you think it's going to work? Okay. I'm going to sand this down a little bit. The bunny bait tag. So yeah. Um, but anyway, back to the whole tray thing. The reason because there's, because it's finished. Like when I have my tray is decorated, it's decorated. And unless the kids hit it with a basketball, it stays beautiful. It stays that way. And like, there's really not a whole lot in my life that I ever really am truly finished with. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not in, like when you're in college, you finished your class. It was done. You know, I don't get that feeling of like finished a lot. So I don't know. It, it was, um, okay, here we go. A little decor wax. Y'all know a little goes a long way. Um, and then we're going to, uh, I am going to seal this. Oh, that, tur that turned out better than I thought it would. I'm really happy with that. Um, but I think that this plate needs a little, a little, um, aging. And then we're going to put a used jute twine to tie that on with. So I'm just taking a little decor wax and putting this around the edge. And I'm kind of sloppy with it right now. So we'll, we'll be able to fix that. Yeah, Luke. I, so he's my, he's my kid that has dyslexia and my nose just itched. And he just read his first chapter book. I mean, that's a big deal. And I am so proud of him. I went and got him a big bouquet balloons and well, this is not working for me. Hold on. I had to get after that with the sandpaper. And he just, he has come a long way. We had conferences this week. And his teacher was saying how proud she is of him, how hard he's worked. I can't because my, my, my phone is a camera right now. So you're going to have to um, do something else. And then I, I will give you time later. Okay, bonus time. So, like, how about your Nintendo Switch? Since your chores are done. Okay. Um, okay. So. Um, I know I worked hard to get these white, but now I'm going to distress them a little bit. So. All right. This is the kind of stuff I want to put in the Joyful Crafting Club boxes. I want to put this kind of stuff that is going to be super fun, out of the box, stuff that you're just not going to be able to find anywhere, stuff with lots of different parts and pieces so that, that we can do those kinds of things. And they're just going to be like something you don't see out in, you know, everyone else doing so that's kind of the plan it doesn't look just like everybody else's wood cutouts you know just something a little fun a little different a little out of the box more than just wood and paint y'all more than just wood and paint yeah that's the other thing it does because if you had to buy all the supplies, right? It just saves time. It saves money. You have a community to 
craft with, inspire each other. Okay, so that's what's going on in the Joyful Crafting Club. It's going to be all super, super fun. Out of the box stuff. Not out of the box box, but like out of the ordinary. Let's say that. Okay, we're just about ready to start putting it together. Let me see what's going on with this. That's dry to the touch. I'm just going to... I'm just going to hit this with a heat gun so I don't ruin it. Shove my big fat thumb in there. Um... I need glue. I need my glue. All right. Hmm. Well, you know what we're gonna do? Let me grab this right here. My, my lid to spray in. I see. Yeah, the kids are off. They have um a four day weekend. I think I already said that. You're back in listening mode. But we're going to put the bunny together. We did a little distressing, Leslie. I just hit this with the heat gun. Um, Jennifer says, someone to come up with ideas. I get overwhelmed thinking about what I want to make sometimes. Yeah, it can be. I was a little feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Trying to decide on this one, honestly. Okay, so remember we didn't paint that because it's going to be covered up. It is. You know what? I was a little worried about the... Um, a little clogged here. Does your spray glue get clogged sometimes? I have to... There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. So there's that piece. This is an easy assembly. It's super easy assembly. I'm going to spray the back of this. I'm going to put this on here. The bottom is not lovely, but we're not going to see the bottom. You, if you wanted to, could make the bottom lovely. Oh, hey, Amy. So, y'all, Wix Wax Candle. She is um, super cool. Her name is also Amy. There's four of us in our mastermind with the name Amy's in that generation where everyone's name was Amy. She does um, these gorgeous handmade candles. And then um, she has something she calls a gnome. So it's a candle gnome. And I mean, you guys have got to check out her stuff. She does really amazing work. In fact, I was telling her her candles would look really pretty in my tear trays. Because you know, having a candle in your tear tray is always... It always kind of up levels it. I put candles like in my, in my trays. So she's, she has cool stuff. You like crafting Leslie, but you have trouble coming up with your own ideas. You know what? Um, you try. Yep. Oh, Leslie says she tries to wipe her Gorilla Glue after every use. I know I do too. And then I forget. <laughs> So, um, I mean, I just, Joe brought my stuff downstairs and it had one of my, like, he was, and I said, did, where was all of that? Um, and he was like, well, didn't you like bring this upstairs and leave it? I'm like, I don't know. Oh, you're welcome. I know I am. I'm going to get one of your candles and put it in my, in my tray. She does great work and she's really cool. I really enjoyed getting to know her. Um, 
it's just a, a fun bonus of being in a group of fun women. So, yeah, you just got to check her stuff out. She does good work. She's also a good person. So, you know, like the combo and she works hard, you know, so the combo is really cool. I mean, when you, when you have a really cool person who has worked really hard and built a really great business, that combo, sometimes, you know, you don't always get both, but I mean, she's got both. So I really like, really enjoy getting to know her. You guys, that's how Jennifer Raiden and I met. Canvas Design Designs. We were in a group last year together and um, she started messaging me about some things. She was like, hey, check this out and look at this and look at that. And um, we've been besties ever since. I mean, we talk every day, multiple times a day. Um, that's how we met. We were in a business group. Okay. I'm going to go real lightly around the edge of this uh, the, the napkin, because I don't want to like, you guys all know that if you get your decor wax on the napkin and then you sand it off, you're going to take away your napkin. Um, so we don't want to do that. So Leslie says that I make it look easy. She likes crafting, but has trouble coming up with her own ideas. And Cassie says, yep, she does too. But you know what? I think, um, I think that's pretty typical. I mean... I think too, it's the more you create and the more you kind of trust your instincts. Oh, my husband's watching. He should come downstairs. He's upstairs watching. I'm going to call him out because he's upstairs watching and he's not, he's not, he should come down, but you are my best friend. You are, you know that. Okay. Joe and I worked together side by side for like six years. Was it six? Not only are we married, but we built a construction company together and worked, I mean, literally from nothing at our kitchen table. We started there and he had to travel for like, oh my gosh, he was traveling 90% for a long time. And so I was at home with the kids and he would come home on Saturday afternoon and have to leave again Sunday. And he would do that over and over and over. And so the amount that he's given up and really, this might be too much information, but the reason that we really started our own construction company was because of Nate. And um, we, we needed to, um, we just needed to stay in Dallas and, the company that he was working for was not going well and we needed another option. So we ventured out on our own and he has given up so much um, to make sure our kids have what they need. And that's the truth. And he is, he's my best friend and my husband. And we also like share a brain. We're on the same page about pretty much everything. Very rarely do we ever, we might see things have different viewpoints, but when there's a decision to be made about work or about the kids, we're always on the same page. Always. I mean, we just share a brain now because we've worked together for so long, you know, and it's a, it's a blessing, you know, it's a blessing. Yes. Um, oh, there's, oh, look, this is how to bring your comments on the screen. Look at this. So Leslie says, look at this. So one day I'll be creative. Yes, you will. I didn't know how to do that on here. This is my husband. I'm calling him out. He's upstairs and not crafting. So that is my husband. That's me and the kids. We were at a, who, Gabe, look how, oh God, that's my head. You just don't want to see that. That, his profile picture, that was at a basketball game. Decades. Yes. Leslie, Leslie says decades do that. Yeah. They do. You just become like so bonded. So okay, I think that's good. So I'm gonna hit this again with the um you know, and it's a blessing to have that kind of marriage, you know. 
And Joe supports every crazy adventure I have. So Leslie says that she and her husband finish sentences sometimes and it's creepy. Or you think about something at the same. Yeah, because you're just almost like versions of the same person. Okay, that's done. I'm going to stop there. This, it's going to be okay to flip over um, and put some, some glue on. I wish I had some of that. If I had some of that Loctite, I would use that, but I'm out. So we're just going to do this. The only thing that you don't want to do with this is the reason I would use the Loctite maybe is because you don't want to um, clamp. You don't want to clamp this. 43 years. Oh, my gosh. So Joe and I, let's see, 43 years is amazing, Leslie. Leslie said she and her husband have been married 43 years. Um, God, I don't know if Joe's still watching. I'm trying to think about how long we've been married. It's 2023. We got married in 2008. I think, I think 15 years. Yeah. Okay. This is really cute. Okay. So then. For this part, I'm going to take the jute and I want to wrap it several times around the middle. I'm trying to be mindful of that. I like to do things in like odd numbers. So this is threes. Yeah, 15 years this October? 15. Is it this October? Okay. Oops. Don't drop it. Um, okay. Yeah, because 2022 was um, 14. You're right, Joe. Yeah, 15 years. And most of that 15 years, we were in Dallas and we didn't have any family. And when you have a kiddo with outside the box needs and no family, you come to rely on your neighbors and yourself a whole lot more than, and you're able to do things you never thought you'd be able to do. Okay. This is, I like this. I'm just going to cut this. I'm going to put this bunny bait tag through here. And then I'm going to tie it, tie it off. Well, thank you. Yeah. You know what? It's a blessing. What do you guys think? Should this go on the... I think it should go on this side. So I'm going to tie this first on this side. And then we'll... But I do think it's just weird. Back to the crafting. I think the more that you do it. I just got my finger in there. I'll fix that later. The more you do it. Um, and the more you try new things. And you trust yourself. Then the easier it gets. That was going to happen. And. I've always, though, since I was a little girl, had a mind for, like, seeing something and knowing that, um, you know, Leslie, I'll go back and look. It will show me on my desktop. I can't see on this page because I'm, I'm this is StreamYard, so it's a different interface than, um, Than Facebook, um, but it'll show me on my page. It'll show me how many shares that I've had, that this show's had, and it'll show who shared. Okay. I'm going to tie this off. And I'm going to put the bunny garland on, and the reason I'm doing that is because I want it to stay in place. I don't want it to, to move. 
Yeah, this is definitely cute. So I'm just gonna like tie a loop around the top now. So I put one string through there. I do have to get the zoom functionality. I'm gonna get um uh let's see, do I like that or do I want to put both of them through? I think you do. I think you just kind of start thinking about it and you you get ideas in your head and you try them and sometimes you're like, oh, that was a great idea and that worked really well. Or other times you make something and you're like, well, that that didn't go so well, you know. Um, and so it's just a matter of trying things. And seeing what works and what doesn't. Like right now, I'm not sure I'm thrilled with how I tied that knot, but... We're just going to see how it goes. Yep. Well, this is the kind of stuff I like to do. I don't want... I, I do like just painting wood, but I like adding, you guys know I like to add an element that's not paint. That's, you know, decoupage something or I, um, we're going to add in a fun craft napkin or we're going to add in some, some twine or some ribbon. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. And then the finished product here. Let me, I'm going to take this second camera out so you guys can see better. Then this is it. Hold on. I'm going to remove this one. I mean, okay. I am, after we're done, I'm going to go find a ribbon to put around this. Yep, yeah, I like to add elements to make it unique. <laughs> you should copyright, Leslie. My words get lost. Oh, you know what I didn't? I'm not going to glue this on right now. But if, we, if you, because I've got, I need this to dry. Hold on a second. You know, I have too much light. Give me one shake. Okay. If I ever get the lighting right, I'm washing it out. Okay, let's try that now. Um, so look, though. I mean, how cute is that? Can't turn it. I mean, that is adorable. Yeah, oh yeah, the pink in his ears. You oh, I forgot about that. Okay, let's add the string back in and do the pink in the ears. Thank you, Leslie. I knew I said I was gonna do that. Here. Hold on. Shift seven. No. Okay, well. Here, there we go. I will get better at the camera. So just, let's just, this is all we got right now. There's like a um, whole zooming thing. Hi, oh, honey. You're hey. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> my husband. Okay, let's do pink in his ears and ignore my janky camera setup. We're, jank we're just going to go with it today. Okay, I'm just going to use a tiny brush. Yeah, I'm gonna order this. So this, there's a lady in, in our in our mastermind who has a really neat camera setup. Um, and it even like zooms for her and everything. She's a little zoomer on it. I know Jennifer does that with Zoom. We were talking about that, but you can't do it with Streamyard. And so. The thing about Facebook Lives is you kind of have to either, you kind of have to be, okay, some people figure it out before they do it, but if y'all waited until I had it perfect, we would never get there. So I'll show you. I know that this looks a little messy, but, oh, hey, Kathy. Um, does the bunny have eyes? Well, I guess the bunny can have eyes. We can give the bunny eyes. So when this dries, I'm going to sand it a little bit. And it's going to look more worn and weathered. So 
we're sprinkling. What are we doing? We're spreading the joy to get a chance to, for me to mail this to you. We're going to gift this to somebody. The finished product. You guys want eyes. Where's my black paint pen? So, yeah. I'm just going to have to. It's good to see you, Kathy. So, yeah, this is going to go to somebody. So this is the um, black paint pen and the way that I usually will see here. Um, I usually just go like this to get the eyes on the bunnies because I, I, I mean, only because I'm not really great at painting eyes. Let's just be honest about it. Do not have a lot of eye painting talent. So let's. I think there's a dog back there. The eyes go like here and here. So the thing is, like if we mess up the eyes and we're not happy with them, we can always take them off. Some of the wood cutouts I have have like score marks. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Those tiny little um lines like these that um you can paint inside of okay the eyes were a good idea i know i talked about doing the ears and then i cut i was jabbering and forgot you know joe just came in and said hi he didn't stay to paint i don't know what he would paint right now because Okay, we'll let that dry. I think I could have put a nose on there if I would have painted it before I put this on. I'm kind of nervous to put a nose on there. I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. Let me see. Let's just hit it with a heat gun. I'm going to sand the ears a little bit. It also, when you sand it, I'm going to be honest here and give away one of my tricks. Oh, hey, Pam. How are you? He has peeking. Um, Pam from the Heart Art says hi. You guys, she's someone else in my mastermind group. Fabulous artist. She does really great stuff. She does lives during the week, too. I don't, I kept trying to think about what days she does them, but go check out her page, too. She does gorgeous work. And um, really, like, again, just a nice, nice lady. Just super lovely. And very, very talented. I really, I really like being able to learn and work, learn from and work with Pam. Um, I really do. Okay. So there. Okay, he has eyes and ears now. I don't know. She does these. Um, I was just looking at her. Um, Pam does these. She does artwork and then she makes things with her artwork. And um, a lot of different things. But one of the things that I saw recently she posted was she has like a ministry set of like their gift cards with her artwork. And the the she had a really cute one, the baby one. It was um, like a baptismal and all around the edge of the card was Jeremiah 29, 11. And that is the verse I prayed over my boys, told them I was pregnant with them. And it hung in their rooms above their bedroom doors after they were born. So 
that is a very special verse for me. 2911. All right. I think we're going to, I think we can call them done now. I think we could have put a nose on, but I'm okay. I know my, I just am afraid I'm going to mess it up. So let's go back here. Let me move this. I'm going to get like the professional zooming stuff going on, but no wrong camera. Okay. <laughs> you guys are so good <laughs> for putting up with my bad camera skills. I will get better. So look how cute he is. It's hard to see. Let me, turn that. Let me see if I can get close enough. There we go. How cute is this? That's your life verse. Oh, I'll tell you what. There's like something so comforting about Jeremiah 29, 11. And then it goes on to say um, about if you seek me, you'll find me when you seek me with all your heart. And um, those two together, I think, are so, so powerful. So, all right, ladies, here you go. Here's the bunny. I will announce the sprinkler later today. And I will let... The winner, the sprinkler, the joy spreader, decide um, if they want the gift card thing on the back. But it does have that option. But I put that string on there, so the gift card is it's probably not going to work. Okay, so the, the original intent on this was like some kind of what I thought was of kind of, it was like a fake piece of wood that looked like a string. Okay. It was a piece of wood cut to look like a string. And then this fits on back on the back. Now, technically with my laser, I could cut this into the right size, but I hadn't tested it ahead of time. Oh, it does kind of still fit and you can't see it, but, but I didn't want a fake piece of wood that looked like a string. I want like the real deal. Like, you know, like I like multiple medias into there. Can you put it lower? So like, the, well, the idea was for the gift card to show out of the top. Do I, I don't have a credit card with me. I usually, <laughs> um, so, and I don't think that it will hold, but what I can do is I can cut it with my laser so that, um, cut it just a little shorter like the gift card will still fit but this will just be shorter and then it will fit in the back and i can that's easy to figure out in my computer software but yeah i can add one on if some of them if the if the person who sprinkled the joy spreader who gets this wants the gift card thing attached i'll definitely do that so there you go Mwah. Yeah, the gift card. Yeah, because that's the idea is that it's the gift and then the gift card's kind of sticking out the back and you can give it as a gift um, to somebody who, you know, and then they can set this out and then the gift card doesn't, holder doesn't show in the back once they take it out. So it's like a two in one, right? Um, I have plans for all of these. Like I'm thinking we can use, do these for like um, different themes too, not just bunnies. So, all right, y'all. Have a great day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and crafting today. Keep your eyes open for later on, and I'll talk to you all soon. Oh, oh thank you, honey. Joe said, I'm talking to my husband. He said it turned out great. That's what I was thinking. All right. Love y'all. Bye.